the same bass player. Because he could play this one key of E flat, B sharp, or D. He said sometime, you know, back when we had a regular scheduled program, of course. That was some time ago. But I remember. He didn't mind if it was the key of D, but he had no problem. But guess what was? D, the key of D, D. It would be too much to ask for human beings, the scientists that we are, to say that the amount of a number of frequency cycles per second that, that it is, whatever that is. Round up, round down, make up these numbers yourself, right? Sure, sure, there's a mathematical equation. Every scientist is a musician, every musician is a scientist, sure. And top of players are a whole different thing. And players too, don't get me started. The point is, so we've got these letters that we use, that's fine, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that's it. 88 keys in the piano, Got to repeat phrases and this and that. None of the same numbers. Now they correspond. I know. I know. It all works out. Sure. But then we get the key to it. Oh, wait a second. There's these other ones that are in between. They don't get their own letters. They get these kind of, you know, compatriot letters. Like, oh, well, I'm D. You're D flat. You're D sharp. No, no, no. We'll be going in the executive suite. And you stay there and you'll say, what? I can't explain this to people in a reasonable way. Right? But it's basically the empirical nature of human thought, right? And please understand that I respect it to the utmost, right? Someone getting up in the middle of the night every night for their entire life, sitting on the grass, looking up to see a pattern, right? So they figure one out. I don't know how long that takes, because that's crazy. But <laughs> they did, and they agreed. This one series of thoughts, and they wrote the notes out, showed the work, and cited the sources, and look, you point to that, it's going to be the same. Ten years from now, it'll be, it's a, how it, it's, it's magic, it's great, it's science, right? But here's where it breaks down. When everyone's standing around going, okay, well, you've shown us that that will be there, now what is it? Well, that's Pluto. You just, you just decided to assign Pluto to that. Could be Clarence. I got it, I get that you're being respectful. But it would be me, it'd be my great grandfather, right? That's Clarence. Yeah, we go back to some other like, mystical mythology saying, oh, I know what that is. That's, well, it's Clarence, man. You can <laughs> What is so important about the ideas that they have, right? So we're going to do this in the key of D, right, to satisfy that. It's also a show, but do not get me started on that one. people. 